Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be pressing a shirt that I made with my DTF printer. This is the shirt that the image is going to go on. It is just a simple black onesie. I'm making a birthday shirt for my friend's grandson and here is the transfer that I printed out. It's Coco Melon which is really popular around this time. Now if you don't know what DTF means, it means direct to film and I have another video where I showed you my process of um, using the printer. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go ahead and put my shirt down on the heat press and it's already heated up and I'm going to press it first with the Teflon sheet just to get some of the moisture out of the t-shirt before I lay the image. I have researched and found that this is the best method when starting out because when the shirt does not have moisture in it, it helps the transfer stick a little bit better. Now, I am not an expert on DTF. I am just learning myself. Now remember, I don't claim to be an expert. I'm really new at this, so I am just sharing my experience. Okay, I am going to lay my image down on top of the onesie. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my Teflon sheet on top of it. And I believe I pressed this image at 285 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds I believe it was and then I did a second press and I have learned that you know a lower temperature is kind of better with DTF because my first transfers kind of turned out a little dull but this one turned out better okay so I have finished pressing it once and now I'm going to lay the Teflon sheet back on it and give it another press. Okay, my pressing is done. Now the film that I am using, it is um, a cold peel. So what I'm doing is just kind of going over the transfer just to see if it's still hot or if it is cool enough for me to go ahead and remove my image. Okay, so in real time, the image has been on the shirt long enough where it's cooled and I'm just peeling it off. Now, this is not a perfect image. This is not something that I'm selling. It is just for a friend. So I believe it turned out really cute. I don't think the baby is going to mind that there's a little bit of imperfections. So I'm happy with the way that it turned out. And I'm going to show you this shirt. And I also made some chip bags for the baby's party. Um, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything, please leave the questions down below. Any comments, leave them as well. If you're new and you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.